everyone, my name is Raom and today I'm finally sharing with you my favorite skin, hair, body treatment um, or products. So these products you can use them like in multiple ways, so I'm going to tell you what my favorite ways to use them. And this video is sponsored by iHerb. Um, I've been using iHerb for like at least three years. I remember when I first moved back to Saudi Arabia, it saved my life. Like, because like it was really hard to find organic and natural products here and like sometimes you would find them and then you would never find them again but I are like always reliable the products I'm showing you today are from Insta Natural they're like a small business in Florida and all of their products are organic and natural and they are like the oils they use are extracted um, in the best way possible to retain all of the vitamins and minerals in the oil and that's what I like about them and I can tell like when I use like I've used organic oils from different companies I, because I really like to try new things and I can tell when when an oil or like a product isn't like <laughs> isn't the best um, the smell the consistency of the oil itself is different so with them it's like wow like I was mind blown iHerb has over 40 instant natural products on their website and today I'm gonna be mentioning like my top five favorites and I'm excited like to try more um, but these like just like stood out to me so much I've been trying them for a month right now and I love them so much so far. I love the packaging, I love the ingredients, um, everything about this company is just amazing. iHerb carries over 40 instant natural products and they ship to over 160 countries around the world obviously. They have support to, in 10 different languages so that's great. So before we start, I have dry skin, I have dry hair, um, and I live in Saudi Arabia, in Riyadh, the capital city, so it's in the middle of no water. I tried to give up like moisturizing and see if like my skin would get used to it. It was terrible and like my skin started having cracks in it and it was not soft and yeah, um, I really like taking care of my skin. So let's get into the products. Okay, let's start with this one. This one is black cumin seed oil is very known for its benefits in the in Arabian cultures or Middle Eastern cultures. The Arabic name for black cumin seed is Hebat al-Baraka, which means like the blissful seed. Um, and yeah, it's been used for centuries and they say Cleopatra used it on her hair and on her skin, so that's what I've been doing. I've used it on my hair and it is pretty thick, so it's gonna take a little bit while to get it out. But it's worth it. It's so worth it. I've used it on my skin too. And there's a few studies. Actually, there's a lot of studies. I was looking into the studies that I'm gonna link below this video. Um, and some of them like are done by Saudi doctors, which is like, oh. <laughs> anyway, so what it's good for and what studies have proven that it's good for, um, the things that relate, <laughs> relate to this video, are like healing wounds and scars. So if you have any acne scars, I scratch myself a lot, so this has been great. And what else? So yeah, it's also like good for other things. Um, I'm gonna link the study below and other studies for like other skin issues that you might be having. Next product, Argan Oil. I love this. I've been using Argan Oil whenever I can get my hands on it. I would like get it. I love that it's like a moisturized, but it's also light at the same time. Uh, I've used coconut oil for a while, but then I don't like how it kind of like just stays on my skin, and then everything around me is oily. Um, I've had people complain. <laughs> uh, and this one smells like a Moroccan hammam. If you've had one, you know what I mean. So you can tell, like I've used a lot before from different companies, like I said before, whatever I can get my hands on. And a lot of them would be just like clear oil with like no smell. It, it can't just like not smell like anything. So because it's cold pressed and it's unrefined, it remains like all the minerals and the vitamins remain within the oil. When like some methods of extracting, extracting the oil can remove all the benefits like the way I think of it is like white flour and whole wheat flour so just as a reference I like using it on my body um, like after the shower you can use it on your hair you can use it on your face whatever you want but I, I prefer using it on my body in the summer because it's like pretty late okay so let's get into face care um, I like I'm using this toner right now vitamin C toner and if you if you're like what the heck is a toner why the heck do I need a toner Toner is good to like balance the pH of your skin, um, especially if you have oily or like acne prone skin, a toner can help you out. Um, I remember like if you would ask me like two years ago about like skincare products and all of that, I would have been like, that's a waste of money, that's a waste of time, you just eat good, sleep good and stress 
re like manage stress but I remember like having a conversation with my cousin about like skincare and like taking care of your skin and these things and she said something that like really resonated with me and she was like I've never met someone who takes care really good care like who takes really good care of their skin who didn't have great skin um, as long as like their diet is like you can't just eat junk food and then expect some products is gonna like save your life it can help a lot but diet always comes in number one for me diet first and then maybe number two like skincare number three sleep and stress so yeah I um, just wanted to throw that in so this is the toner I use it's good to balance your pH the pH of your skin and to hydrate reduce any redness blah 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 so first what I do is like I would clean my face and then I would spray the toner on my face and then the third thing is this serum so uh, this is an Aragon Rose Hip Serum. It's made with lavender, frankincense, and patchouli oils. You can use it for your face, body, hair, or skin, um, and your nails. I use it on my face uh, to like tone the skin and have it like be in like to reduce like remove any acne scars or any redness or uneven skin tones. That's what it's really good for it. I use this one when I wake up in the morning, um, after I shower, and once before I go to sleep. Especially like before I go to sleep, it's like very important that I use it. Um, and I've noticed like when I wake, I remember like waking up one day and I was like, oh my, like I don't know, like my face just like looks different. It looks like like I slept a really good night's sleep, and the tone of my skin just like I really don't know how to explain it. Like it's not glowing. It was just like. I, I really don't know how to explain it um, and I like forgot about it like I was like I just maybe like I slept where you good or something and I was like kept thinking about it like in the back of my head like what did I do differently and then I was like oh yeah it's a serum <laughs> so like that way I knew or like I realized it's like not a placebo effect because I always try to keep that in mind whenever I'm trying something new so that's that last product is um, a vitamin C moisturizer and a sunscreen um, I, I don't burn easily because I'm darker um, and when I'm tanning I just like keep that like keep in mind like whenever I get like feel like my skin is getting hot or burning I just like go in the shade but sometimes you don't have that option like you can't go into the shade like when I was in Umluj I was on a ship and there was like no shade whatsoever and then we went to the island and there was like no shade no trees no palm trees nothing so and sometimes like you just like you're not aware of it and I have some areas in my body that are more sensitive and that are usually like would burn a little bit like my shoulders my nose um, and then I have some discoloration on my face that I would use this for um, and it's, this is the most like eco-friendly packaging and natural and organic sunscreen that I've ever found so that's why I love it so much um, and it's not as thick as your typical sunscreen and it doesn't have any harmful ingredients so yeah that was it uh, I hope you, this video was helpful I am getting to get into details of like my skin and body and hair routines um, I'm still like refining them I guess that's the word but this is pretty much my skin like my face skin care routine I do a few more things like on a weekly basis but this is the, the most important things um, and yeah let me know if you have any questions uh, and again I hope this video was very helpful to you and I love you all so much. Have a good day. And yeah, and thanks for to iHerb again. I'm gonna be linking all of the products in the description box below so you can find everything that you might want to get. And yeah, that's it. And the studies are also in the description box. So hopefully I made this as helpful as possible. Thank you so much again and have a good day. Jesus.